W w welcome everyone to the second Q&A video. I know, I know, this took a lot longer than it should have. There are a few reasons as to why it took so long, but luckily for you, this is nothing that you need to worry about as the video is finally here. And now, without further ado, let's get to the first question and see what you guys have been asking me this whole time. Before I start, let me be clear by saying that I found all of these questions in YouTube and the Discord server. So if I missed anything, do let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer it or I'll answer in the next Q&A video. Otherwise, enjoy. Our first question comes from Nick and he asks, did you ever study anything music related? That is a good question. Hmm. Did I study anything music related? Okay, so when I was in sixth grade, they taught me how to play the recorder, you know, the little flute kind of thing, which was very fun. When I was around 14, I started taking drum lessons and I started learning how to play the drums for a good three years. I actually entered a stage where I had to play jazz kind of drumming, which the, where the stick was kind of, well, made of little tiny little metal strings if that makes sense i've also taken two years of a guitar before i graduated high school and then i taken another maybe two three years of guitar in post-secondary school as well and last but not least i actually self-taught myself some piano thanks to youtube i found songs that i really enjoyed and then i started kind of learning how to play them on the piano thanks to a bunch of youtube tutorials and uh, i started playing piano i still don't even know the notes or anything like that because it feels like a whole different language and for me that is something quite difficult to master because i am already a trilingual person learning a fourth language whether it be java or music notes the despite being universal can be quite difficult and challenging because it's literally you look at a paper and you guys see notes and directions I look at the same musical notes and I just see a bunch of shapes and I've had professors and teachers throughout my life explain to me what each and every one of those notes mean but I gotta say it just keeps going over my head I think I just need to really focus sit down kind of take it in I just feel like throughout my life every time I was being taught this my priorities were always somewhere else so it was, it was something that I never gave my full attention to but still somehow got around to doing it. Our next member asks three questions. Did you ever try to do a cold water bucket challenge? What do you think about lamps and what is your favorite weather? Okay, so to tackle the first one, if you're referring to the ALS ice bucket challenge, then yes, I've done it when it was trending and I did donate the money for it as well. What do you think about lamps? I, I am starting to wonder, of course, if this is in any way related to the moth and lamp meme that's been trending a while back. Because if it is, then I don't know what to tell you. I ain't a moth, but I do like lamps. Because without lamps, I wouldn't look like this and, and would instead look like this. Ah, oh, this is terrible. Look at all that shadow and... Ugh. What is my favorite weather? Are you referring to the, like, the actual weather condition or are you referring to a season? If you're referring to a season, I would probably say spring. But if you're referring to a weather condition, then honestly, I think I just like it simply sunny with a, with a little bit of clouds. You know, just a little bit of clouds to give you shade every now and then. But I do like my weather dry. And I don't mean dry where your skin starts to crack. I mean a good balance between having no rain and just keeping it sunny and nice. That's all I that's all I ask. That's really all I ask. The next member asks, where is Konaijo? I have no idea what that means. Give me one moment. A rabbit. Oh. Okay, so that question literally translates to where is rabbit? I don't know what rabbit you're referring to. I was asked this question around in the summertime, so I honestly don't know what you mean by where is bunny. Who is your favorite creator in Geometry Dash nowadays and what is your favorite level? Ah, uh, that's tough. I don't know. Well, back then it used to be Jazer and Funny Game. Today, I want to still say Funny Game because he's. I did play some of his levels in my uh, 2.0 and 2.1 the Geometry Dash series. At the same time, I have played a couple of new ones like uh, Rafer, I think, or Raffer was one of those names. And there were a couple of other ones, but I don't remember their names. Just, just so you know, I'm terrible with names, but I never forget a face. Now, I haven't seen their faces, but I'm sure if I see their name visually, I'd be like, aha, yes, I remember this person. But... Word-wise, I probably won't remember it at all. Does it make sense? Probably not. Let's move on. What is your favorite level? Ever or today? I don't know. It's kind of like one of those what is your favorite song kind of questions. It's just one of those things that changes over time and depending on where you are in life and 
when you did it and what kind of experience you get it that really does change it's it's like a wide spectrum of different levels right and i, I honestly i don't know not to mention the average geometry dash player plays a lot of geometry dash levels whether they are fan made or made by rob top and i highly doubt it is easy and as simple as to pick one level can you really choose can you really choose one over the other i don't know how what is your favorite genre of games that's a good question also similar to the previous question because again you can't really just choose one kind of spectrum of games and be like this is it this game or this genre of gaming defines me as a person this is what i'm gonna play for the rest of my life it really isn't that simple and to be fair i don't know how to answer it i do know that i've played a variety of different genres in my life and uh, there's quite a few that i appreciate i appreciate first person shooters i like platformers i like real-time strategy i like adventure kind of games survival horror i like puzzles as well I like a good challenge, I like a good narrative, but I think above all, it's always about the experience and immersion. If you could immerse me into your game, you know, whether it be through narrative or music or visuals or just, just overall experience, if, if I could be immersed in a game and feel like I'm a part of it and then, you know, by the time you, it's like, it's like reading a book that's hard to put down. If you can give me a game that keeps me playing nonstop and making me not want to go, then you've done a good job. But which favorite genre? Honestly, I don't know. I appreciate a lot of genres for what they are, and I think it's more of a mood thing. Depends on what my mood is to play a particular kind of game. I think a lot of you could relate to that as well. How do you always keep your hair looking so fresh? Well, the secret is, you either shower or you comb your hair, and sometimes both. <laughs> That's honestly all I do. Other than that, I think just take care of your hair, make sure nothing grows in there, you know? Take care of your hair and just make sure nothing lives in there. What's the best type of cheese? I mean, you can't do that to me. I don't know. I, lo I love cheese. I mean, I like a lot of cheese. I like a cheese a lot. And <laughs> if you've been in my high school, you know that was my catchphrase. You know I love cheese. The problem with this is that I don't know what kind is the best. I've, I like different cheese at different occasions, at different meals, for different reasons. For example, I could appreciate cheddar cheese, Swiss cheese, feta cheese, Parmesan, blue cheese too, actually. Honestly, I don't know. All cheese just tastes good. That's very similar to the game genre questions. It's like saying, what kind of genre of cheese do you like? Look, it depends in the mood and definitely depends on the meal. Some meals work better with different types of cheese. But if I had to choose on the spot what I would like, probably Swiss. Pirates or ninjas? Huh, that's a good question, but honestly, I don't know. I think... I think I'll choose pirates, but that's simply because I've been exposed to pirates more often and more experienced with pirates as well. For example, there's the Pirates of the Caribbean series that everyone has watched, and then there of course is games like Assassin's Creed Black Flag, which again is a pirate experience game, but I don't feel like there's much about ninjas out there. Could we have some kind of sneak peek or teaser of the new level? Sorry, Ali, I cannot give you that. I know a lot of you have actually messaged me privately and publicly asking me these questions. The thing is, I've been working on this with my co-op partner, and I gotta tell you, we got some awesome things coming your way. And I just, I don't want to spoil anything because there's so much potential in what it is that we're doing. And I don't know. I, I just, I'll tell you this. This is definitely bigger than anything I've ever worked on. And... I think it's also much, much longer than anything I've ever done on my own as well. And I think that's something to be expected because it is a cooperative effort. So I feel like there's the, there's the portion of me what I have to offer and direct the project that it, as it is. But then my co-op partner would also have his own style added in and his own skill as well. So I don't know. It, it's looking good. I'll give you that. It's looking good. And it's... Just, just, just trust me, okay? Just trust me. It's good. You got, you got to wait for it. I hope, I really do hope, it's something you would enjoy and something you would appreciate. Um, what I do aim to tell you is one thing. My main goal with the current level that we're working on is to give you one hell of an experience. It's honestly all about experience. Of course, there are visuals. Of course, there's a soundtrack. And of course, there are gameplay. But I'm trying to submerge you into that immersiveness. I really want you, I really want to hit home for you, you know? And I think just, just maybe, maybe we could do that. 
Now, I think I said too much as it is, so, <laughs> so I'm going to move on right now. So thank you for your question. Um, next. Do you plan on ever live streaming? It would be really fun to get to watch you creating on stream and that way people in the chat could also help answer any questions and give suggestions, etc. Hmm. Do I ever plan on live streaming? Well, as I have mentioned when I first made my initial return, yes, I do plan on live streaming. It's just something I haven't gotten around to doing yet because I'm kind of figuring it all out as I go along. I'm taking baby steps in a lot of different directions and eventually we'll get there, you know, and I do plan on doing charity live streams and, st and stuff like that as well because I'm big on charity and I, I just really want to make sure I get to that state. But what you're asking here is if I'm ever going to stream by making a level. And to be very honest with you, probably not because something that really motivates me and inspires me to make levels is to see your reactions and to see the audience really taking the levels that I drop out for you guys so if I were to have you along that journey it would kind of detach you from it unless of course I make it some sort of exclusive stream where only a few people know about it but even then I can't just discriminate with, with the rest of you I don't know I really don't know probably not but who knows you know Life's, life's interesting that way. Anything could happen. How do you feel about your return to Jonterdash from over two years of disappearance? Well, actually, it's more closer to three to four. But to answer your question, how do I feel? <sighs> I feel like this question is a loaded one because a lot has changed. There's no doubt about that. A lot has changed in the game. The designs are different. The gameplay mechanics are different. And the community is large and mainstream. When I, I mean, when I started Jump to Dash, it was, it was like the cool thing. You know, only a few people knew about it. Only a few people played it and spoke about it. Right now, I'd be sitting in a park waiting for my friends to be shopping, only to find a kid on my left playing Jump to Dash. So definitely more out there than it used to be. Another thing that people have told me about is apparently to submit levels today it is a lot harder because the moderators or Rob Top or whatever the system that currently is managing the submissions apparently it is looking for overly decorated levels and that to me sounds like a shame because the decorations though they give a good effect and a good visuals for the experience you need to realize that that shouldn't be the main focus of Geometry Dash the main focus of Geometry Dash should always be gameplay it's what people love about the game the visuals only always come second you first you make a good gameplay experience after that decorate it all you want as long as you don't sacrifice or ruin the gameplay experience with your decorations something that i've experienced in a lot of fan submitted levels in the series that i've covered a lot of people tend to put too many unnecessary decorations and even worse is when they cannot distinguish it to the viewer whether this decoration is an obstacle or a part of the background because they simply blend in and this to me is is, is something that wasn't so common back then but today it's it's just out there all the time and i'm like seriously someone needs to fine tune these levels i don't know a lot has changed and even building the level that i'm currently working on now it's it's i'm not i'm not gonna lie it's it's difficult and it's taking some time because a lot has changed. I haven't worked on a level since 1.9 and today you guys got 2.1 with 2.2 around the corner. Well, for a while now, actually. I have a lot to adjust to and I hope that the new level is as good as anything that you guys are expected to be. Will you make a new level? Well, aside from the current collaboration that I'm working on, I have had a few inspirations and ideas come through from time to time. I have thought about a lot of levels that I could potentially work on. Currently, the only level I'm working on right now is the collaborative one, so no, nothing yet. But I, when will I make one? I don't know, probably after I drop this one. With the addition of new triggers in Geometry Dash, how do you think it will change your old style? That is a good question. The best way for me to describe my style would be to ask you guys to describe it, because I myself just do levels based on what I thought was good, right? Or what I thought was worth of a level. And you guys are the ones who appreciated that, liked that, and gave me the feedback to continue on making more levels. So once I make a new level, it will be up to you guys to tell me if it's still my style, so to speak, or if something has changed. Of course, the first level I'll be doing is a co cooperative one. So referring back to the question, how would it change my style? Well, I suppose because there are new triggers, there are different game modes, especially. For example, I don't think I've ever covered the running man or the spider of Geometry 
counter dash. I don't think I've ever done those modes. So obviously, whenever I incorporate that, that's going, they're going to be different. Remember, the last time I made a level was in 1.9. So whether I make one in 2.1 or 2.2, a lot will be different, so I don't know if my style itself has changed, especially considering I haven't made levels in so long, or maybe the game itself has changed that gives you the perspective that my style changed. In either case, right now I have no idea what to say because there's nothing to compare to. Once I start making more levels more often and frequently, then we can compare new and old. What has been your favorite episode and game by now? What's your current favorite game otherwise? I feel like there's three questions in here. So my favorite episode that I've covered by now, I think it would have to be episode two of Transmissions, where I encountered a very, very friendly um, ally. <laughs> if you don't know about him, I would advise you to check it out. But favorite game that I've covered so far, a good one i don't know i feel like it's a tie between just shapes and beats and returner 77. i mean they're two different genres or two different gameplay elements but there are both games that i enjoyed to cover in this channel so and fun fact they are both requests by the community so if it wasn't for you guys telling me to play them i probably would never have played them and uh, honestly I, I owe it to you guys but those were great games that i covered what is your current favorite game otherwise? Good choice of words because, you know, favorite games change over time just like music and other things. So, to current, current, oh, that's tough. You know what? Let's, let's see what I got on my desktop right now. I think I'll have to say Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I think it's a perfect finale to the trilogy, a beautiful reboot series, and it's just, I don't know, I've played one to three, and they all seem so freaking flawless. Everything, the optimization, the gameplay, the music, the graphics, the levels, the, I don't know, it was just, it was an experience that was just flawless in my opinion, and the third one really hit the nail on a very epic finale. I honestly refuse to think this is the last one, I hope they make more because it's just too good, and I really do hope they continue. Why are are you losing subs you had like 5015 last time okay i'll have to admit i've been getting questions like this a lot more often than i had hoped and uh i've already answered this on my discord and i'm going to post the screenshot on the screen right now for you guys to see of what i said and if you really want to read it i would recommend pausing it i don't want to talk about it because it is kind of a long topic and i feel like it could take a whole video of its own and i and right now the focus of this is a q a video and i don't want to linger too much on one question because this question alone might be half of this video's length do you have mod I don't know what you mean by that. Are you referring to a mod for a particular game or is mod a game of some sort or something? I, I don't know. You need to really work on the context and meaning there. Sorry, Freddy. What are you doing when you're not on YouTube? Uh, let's see. Eat, gym, game, sleep, repeat, I think. Yeah, pretty much it. Which creators do you admire? I feel like this question is aiming for a more broad answer because it doesn't necessarily ask which specific creators do you like or favor. It's more like which creators do you admire? And I feel like that itself could be answered for a bigger spectrum. In other words, I admire creators who are original, who try to be themselves. They don't try to copy or be someone else. They, they show what they have. They show you their ideas, their skills. They show you their what they can, what they are capable of doing. And they offer to you a new experience because that is important. And most of all, I admire creators that don't bash other creators. Because again, and I've said this before in a few videos, each creator has a different style, a different theme, a different personality. They have different ideas, skills, and talents into creating levels. And I feel like that's what really makes levels special in the end of the day, because they all stand out. If we all did the exact same thing, the entire platform will be super generic and kind of repetitive and boring eventually. So I do appreciate creators that understand this and try to be themselves and try not to mock or be above any other creators. In other words, there should not be a competition between creators, in my opinion, because that defeats the sole purpose of what Geometry Dash was built on. Will you stream Assassin's Creed on Twitch again or even stream from Twitch? Uh, yeah, I did uh, cover Assassin's Creed once on um, 
Twitch. Uh, at the time, I think I only had my friend El Dizzle be my only viewer. So, <laughs> if you guys want me to do it again, let me know in the comments below. I'll definitely consider something like that for the future. How many letters do you know? Okay, so I speak English, Arabic, Russian. So that's 22 characters, I think. About 100, honestly. I don't know. There's, a, there's about 100 characters and letters that I know from the three languages I know. My first language was actually Russian. Second language that I've learned was Arabic. And my third language was actually English. And yet, ironically, English became the dominant language. Why is meat yummy? Well, probably because of all the spices and the sauces and the grills and the cooking methods there are to making meat tender, yummy, and delicious. Because I dare you to eat meat without doing any of that, and I guarantee you it will not be yummy. Not unless you're some sort of carnivorous predator who... Yeah. To jump or not to jump? Depends on context. If you're asking me to jump from a cliff to a large body of water where other people are doing it as well and diving and cannonballing is safe, then sure. If you're asking me to bungee jump, sure. If you're asking me to jump out of a plane with a parachute as long as I've been trained and I know how to do it, sure. But if you're asking me to jump out of a bridge with no safety, no. If you're asking me to jump out of a waterfall with deadly rocks at the bottom, no. So again, context is important, but I'm pretty daring and I do like adventure and experience, so I think the common answer for me would be to jump, unless I know it will cause harm to me or someone else. How do you choose which games to play in your videos, and how did you discover them? There's a few methods. One, if the game is featured, trending, recommended. Two, if it looks appealing, if it's something I've, I have considered before. And three, if it's a game that you guys have requested me to play. That said, this is just more of a guideline because for the most part, there are behind the scene games that you guys don't know about that I have tried covering in this channel, but I scrapped out because after a trial at an episode or two, I would notice that some of them just don't work as let's play videos. Some games you really need to experience and invest on your own. Some games are just meant to take in. All right, well, that is all the questions that I can find on YouTube and Discord. If I have missed anything, I apologize. Do let me know in the comments below and hopefully I'll cover it in the next Q&A video. Or if there aren't that many questions I'd answer, then I'll probably just reply to them in the comments below. In either case, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you for sticking around and watching. A like would be much appreciated. Do let me know in the comments below what you guys think with any other further questions. And of course, general feedback and requests will be fine too. Make sure to check me out on Twitter and Instagram as I do post content from time to time things that i think you would appreciate or find interesting that said guys once again thank you so much for watching this is sheriff o signing off